Frederick Douglass was able to escape slavery and live a successful life in the Northeast. The Northeast region of the United States has historically been more liberal and willing to make a statement that slavery was a hard act. The Northeast region has a lot of history and many social issues that have helped shape the current society in the Northeast. The region was one of the first to flourish in the New World with cities like New York, Boston, Washington, D.C., and Philadelphia, and it still continues to be the center of power for the United States of America. The Northeast has a broad and great history, but there are some dark parts of the history, including slavery. Even though most people, when they think of the North, they think of people that didn't want slavery and to get rid of it. There were slaves in the Northeast until the 1800s, and then when they decided to ban slavery in the North and get rid of slavery in those states, they wanted to get rid of slavery in the South as well. This caused a civil war. The North tended to be more progressive, and they wanted to see all people have the same rights. A lot of slaves from the South escaped to the Northeast and were able to live a good life like Frederick Douglass. He was one of those slaves who was able to escape and live a great life in the Northeast. He became a successful abolitionist and fought to end slavery and is one of the most influential people in the fight against slavery. He had two texts that really spoke up to this region, and they were the narrative of life, a biography of his, and to what does a slave, to whom, to what a slave is the 4th of July. These really show that even though this area tended to be more against slavery, that all African Americans weren't treated the same as some, as and other people of other colors. In more of a broad sense, the Northeast has a great history, and they were one of the first areas to be heavily populated after the British discovered the United States or America. Pennsylvania, New York, Massachusetts, and New Jersey were some of the most populated areas due to the big cities nearby. Even during the Civil War, the Northeast was much more heavily populated than the South. This caused this helped them win the war because they had better economical means and better industrial means. The northern states became the first states to decide to ban slavery, and the citizens realized how poorly slaves were being treated throughout the entire country, so they wanted to ban it throughout the whole country. This time leading up to the Civil War was a time of social conflict throughout the country and saw a nation divide. Slavery had was a major part of the history, and this was a huge social issue. Slavery had been a part of the New World since its inception, and a lot of people thought that it was just a normal part of life, and they didn't know any better until later in life. And even after some people in the North decided that slavery was wrong and they didn't want to have it anymore, a lot of people still owned slaves in the Northeast, and they wanted to keep them. Frederick Douglass was a, he was a very impactful person when it came to making slavery a thing of the past, he was ahead of his time in means of a former slave having an education and being such an impactful person on history. He also had another helpful role in the demise of slavery. He gave hope to other slaves and freemen that just because of your color of your skin doesn't mean you can't succeed. He made it possible and gave hope to other slaves that they could escape and become successful just like he was. Other social issues like economics and states' rights were important during this time period, but slavery definitely the most important social issue of the time just because of the fact that slavery impacted people's lives. The Northeast has changed drastically over the last hundred years or so, but the values of the region have stayed similar. The Northeast in today's world is tends to be more progressive and liberal, while the South tends to be more Republican and conservative. The North tends to be more progressive than the South, and that was definitely true during the Civil War. They wanted everyone to be the same, no matter if you were black if you, or if you were white. The economy in the Northeast has always been relatively good because of all the major cities like Boston, New York, and Philadelphia. These cities create millions of jobs, and the consistency of the economy helps the area grow. The suburbs of these mega cities continue to grow and create other large cities. And the Northeast was the capital of industry for much of the history of the United States. Now, since the United States is much more spread out, the industrial market has expanded nationwide. But the North, historically, was the capital of industry in the country. The people of the North are very different compared to the people of the West, the Midwest, or the South. 
most people think that a lot of people in the North can be a bit rude and people call them Yankees. But not all people in the North are like that. Some people are down home and very hospitable, just like people in the South. The population in the Northeast is sort of a melting pot between people from Asia, people from Europe, people from Africa, people from the United States, people from South America, from Mexico, from Canada. So all these kind of people come together and live a successful life. And this is our this is this goes into this, this this time period and back in the slavery days because they were that region was more willing to accept African Americans as free people, not just as slaves. So it makes sense that still to this day that area would be more progressive in terms of including anyone and everyone in their population. The Northeast region of the United States has historically been more liberal and willing to make a statement that slavery was a horrible act. And the Northeast has a great history, social values that are progressive, and both the history and social issues of the past make the region what it is today. The Northeast region has meant so much to the history of the United States of America, from helping make slavery go away to being such a great part of the American economy. And this makes the region a very unique area and one that everyone should read and learn about.